you've got your book written, you have your illustration, but you just can't afford to pay someone to make you a nice book cover. Don't sweat it. I'm going to show you how to create a book cover in PowerPoint. So stick around. Hey everybody, it's Keith Wheeler here. And if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing a little bit easier to navigate, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out new content. In previous videos, I showed you how to create children's picture books, both with and without bleed, using PowerPoint. And I'm going to include links to them here. Look, sometimes as indie authors, we're cash strapped and just can't afford to spend the money to get a good cover made. Have no fear, there is a way to do it yourself. And I'm going to show you how in PowerPoint. Now you may ask, why do I use PowerPoint for all these tutorials? And the truth is, it's because most people have it. They have it on their computers and they have it for free. Not everyone can afford to spend the money on InDesign or software like that. Now don't get me wrong, InDesign and similar softwares, they're amazing tools. But when money's tight, you got to go with what you got. And for most people, it's PowerPoint. Here's what you need to start creating your cover. Number one, you need to know the final dimensions of your book. Number two, you need to know the number of pages your book is. And lastly, you need to have some kind of illustrations that you want to use for your front cover. Now that we have all that, I'm going to flip the screen around and we're going to get started. Since I'm publishing my book up on CreateSpace, I'm going to go to createspace.com and I'm going to go in the search engine and I'm going to type in cover template. Very first one is book cover templates. So I'm going to click on that. So we pick the interior type, white and black, white and black with bleed, full color or full color with bleed. My book is full color with bleed. So I'll select that. Select your trim size. Mine is 8 by 10 and enter in your number of pages. My book is 26 pages and click build template. It's going to give you a zip file with two files, the PNG and the PDF. Click here to download. I'm going to save it. If you're not publishing yours on CreateSpace, that's fine. I'll show you how to make your own guides. But for now, we're going to go to PowerPoint. I'm going to select a blank presentation. And then now I'm going to set my width and height for my book. So I'm going to go to design, slide size, custom slide size. Now my book's final dimensions are going to be 8 by 10. When calculating the width of your entire cover, it will be the width of your book times 2, one for the front and one for the back, plus the size of your spine. Now to calculate your spine size, you're going to take the number of pages, not the number of pieces of paper, but the actual number of pages in your book, and you're going to multiply that by the width of paper you've chosen for your book. You can go to your platform's website and search for cover guidelines, and you should be able to find the thickness of that particular paper. If you can't, just email their support team and they'll be able to give you that information. So I'm going to go back to CreateSpace, do a quick search, cover guidelines, it tells me right here the different thicknesses of paper. If I have a black and white interior with white paper, I'm going to multiply by this. 0.002252. If I have a black and white interior with cream paper, I'm going to multiply by this. Mine is a color interior because it's a children's book. So I'm going to multiply my total number of pages by 0.002347. Now I'm going to go back over to PowerPoint and I'm going to pull up my calculator. So to figure out my spine size, it's going to be point 002347 times 26 pages. 
So that's going to be 0 0.061. So I'm going to do 0 0.061 plus the 8 inches of my back cover plus the 8 inches of my front cover plus I also need to include a bleed on both sides of 0.125. So I'm going to do plus 0.125 plus 0.125. One for the bleed on the right, one for the bleed on the left. So my total width is going to be 16 16.31. Height is a lot easier to calculate because I don't have to worry about the spine. My height is simply going to be the height of my book, which is 10 inches, plus my 0.125 bleed for the top and my 0.125 bleed for the bottom. So it will be it will be 10 plus 0.125 plus 0.125. So it's going to be 10.25. So we'll do 10.25. And I want to do ensure fit so everything fits nicely on screen. And there we go. So this is the complete size of the cover of my book. So I'm just going to click in here and control A and remove everything that's inside because I don't need any of that. And now we can get started. Now that I have the dimensions, I can lay out my book. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box to replicate the bleed that I need for my book. So I'm going to go to insert, shapes, pick a rectangle. I'm just going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to right click inside it and I'm going to go to size and position. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the bleed for the top of my book. So the height is going to be 0.125 and the width is going to be the entire width of my book which was 16.31. And then I'm just going to drag this to the top. And now I'm going to hit Control C and then Control V so I can copy this and I'll drag this down to the bottom. There we go. There's our bleed for the top and bleed for the bottom. Now I just need to do the right and the left. So again, I'm going to go to Insert, Shapes, Rectangle, Draw a Rectangle, right click, Size and Position. And now my height is going to be the entire height of my book, which is 10.25, and the width is going to be 0.125. Now you may notice that it rounds it up to 0.13, and that's fine because that's just going to give me a little extra uh, space, a little extra area just to be safe. A little safety zone, control C, control V. And there we go. That's all of our bleed for the entire cover of the book. So the only thing left for me to do as far as my guidelines are concerned is I need to create that spine. So again, I'm going to go to insert, shapes, do another rectangle, right click inside, size and position. My height, again, is going to be the entire height of the book, 10.25. And my width is going to be the width of the spine that we calculated, which is 0 0.061. And we're going to just drag this. And luckily, I have my guides turned on right here and here. And you just do that by go to view, and you turn on your guides and your ruler. Uh, and I can always zoom in, go to view, go to zoom. 100% just to make sure that it's uh, sure it's completely centered. There we go, completely centered. And then I'll hit fit the window. And there we go. These are my guidelines. So now I know what areas cannot have any kind of text. This is how you do it if you're not uploading 
your manuscript to CreateSpace. Now, if you are uploading it to CreateSpace, you don't have to go to all of this trouble. You're still going to want to create your overall size, so your overall width and height, like we did before. I'm just going to Control A and delete all of this because what you can do is remember those template files that we downloaded. Well, I went in and I took the PNG, which is basically an image, and I copied that onto my desktop. So now I just go to Insert, Pictures, I'm going to navigate to my desktop, I'm going to find it, which is right here, and there it is. All my guidelines are already done. There's the bleed, all the way around, there's the spine. So you don't have to do anything. It's already done for you. Either way works. Now that you have your guides put into place, whether you create them yourself or you use the template, now all you have to do is insert pictures. Right over here. Remember, you want all of your image to go beyond the bleed, but you just don't want any text in that area. So if I click on any one of these nodes right here, I can see what's underneath. And so I can make sure that my text is safe, which in this case it's not. Let me scroll up, move that up a little bit. Yep, we're good, okay. Now I am going to zoom in at 100% because I wanna make sure that my spine is safe. See, that's what this dotted line right here, that's my spine. And obviously it's not safe because you can only see one of the lines. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna hit my arrow, my right arrow, and I'll move it over. There we go. Now, again, if, if you weren't using these guides, you would just do the same thing, but with the guides, the, the blue box that we had put there. And now I'm gonna go back to fit to window. And there we go. So there's my front cover. I'm gonna, again, I'm going to check real quick and make sure that my words are safe. Yep, they're safe. Now I need to do a back cover. Now, if you don't have a back image, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to create one. So, big surprise. I'm going to go in and insert shape, a rectangle. And I'm just going to create a giant rectangle right here. It doesn't have to be that big, but the important part is as long as it covers the bleed, um, everything else is going to get cut off when we export it anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. Okay, I'm going to go again and zoom in to make sure that I've got my spine is free, which it is not. So I'm going to click my left arrow. There we go. So now my spine is free. Go back to fit to window. And then obviously it's going to default to like a blue. That doesn't really look right. So what you can do is you can right click, go to fill, and use the eyedropper and just pick a color from your front that you really like. And I really like this green. Oh yeah, I really like that. Okay. So we're going to use that green. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to change the outline to that same green. There we go. So there's our cover. Now it kind of looks blank on the back. So I'm going to add some text in here. We're going to insert a text box. Put a text box in here. And we're going to type this is the back cover blurb. Okay, this is the back cover blurb. And you can go in and you can change your font size. And you can change your font type. And your positioning. You want it to be centered or right, left, justified, however you want it. And there you go. Um, 
maybe you want to go a little further and you want to insert a an author picture maybe you want to do a little about the author part uh, take this so we're gonna make that smaller Put that. yeah about there Put that maybe right there. Uh, insert another box. We'll put that box right here. And we'll start typing in there. This is the author bio section. This guy is a great guy. Again, I can change the font. I can change. Let's make this whatever gothic. I don't care. Yeah, that looks no, that looks alright. And we'll hit this. Symbol. Line that up. Okay. Now you want to make sure you leave plenty of space. For the barcode so again if you click on this right here and just hold it down you can see where that barcode is and just you can see right now that it's completely safe my cover's done the same thing can be done with the front cover if you didn't have a front cover you could just put the image in and then you know add in some text add in the uh, illustrator and the author and, and just add that on top of your image make sure you save regularly and right before you're ready to actually export your file, you want to make sure that you right click on each image. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to send to the back. I'm going to do that over here. Send to the back. And that leaves your guidelines. And you're going to go through and you're going to delete these guides. Now, if it's the other one, obviously you're going to have to go to you know, the top, the bottom, or the left, the right, and the spine and remove all those. Do not resave this. You want to make sure that the copy that you have saved still has the guides in place so that way if you have to go back and make any adjustments then you can go in without having to recreate the guidelines. They'll already be in there for you. So I've removed the guides. Now I'm just going to go to File, Export, Create PDF, and I'm going to Export to PDF. That's how you create a book cover in PowerPoint. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to continue to get all of the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing a little bit easier to navigate, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out new content. Until next time, remember to write right.